Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in Sefer Chavetz Chaim. And we're talking about where people make mistakes when they're reporting the information that they have at hand. Umikol ma'ashikasavnu, everything that we've written about. Nuchalirais as goydel atosh and mishtabshim bai b'nei adam tamid. We see what a great mistake people make repeatedly when they're telling others about how they were wronged by someone else. Very common. Someone does something wrong to me, it bothers me and it upsets me, and I feel justified and even vindicated to go and share this information with other people about that person over there. You know what he did to me? You know how he made me feel? Let's take for example over here. Let's say you see Shimon. Shimon. You see that Shimon is speaking Lashon Hara about someone. We'll call him Levi. And he's disparaging him behind his back. Now you go to Shimon and you ask him, Why are you speaking Hara? Why are you speaking Lashon Hara about Levi? What right do you have to speak Lashon Hara about another Yid? Take of Yashiv Lecha. Immediately Shimon answers you, he also spoke badly about me. Livnei plony plony before this person and that person. So therefore, I'm allowed to now, I'm justified in saying not nice things about Levi. This is a grave mistake for several reasons, says the Chavetz Chaim. Echad, first of all, whoever is the one who informs Shimon, he claims that Levi said not nice things about him. Shimon is not allowed to believe on a Torah level that what he said is true. As we know, we're only allowed to be chayshib, we can only be suspectful or suspicious. But I can't accept it and I can't believe it. Because that's, that's believing rechilus, which you cannot do. We already wrote this many times. So number one, the first mistake that Shimon is making is that he's claiming that he heard from somebody else that Levi spoke Lashonar about him, he's not allowed to accept that and believe that. And how could it be possible for, how could it be possible over here for Levi to go and speak against Shimon on the basis of Rechilus that he, that he accepted? No, meaning, how could, how could Shimon go and speak Lashonar about Levi because of the rechilus that he heard. But furthermore, the Hashadava even if it's true that Levi really spoke out Lashon Hara about Shimon, you still not allowed to go around and speak Lashon Hara about Levi. You cannot do such a thing. So Shimon is making a grave error over here. He's not allowed to go and speak this Lashon Hara even though he thinks that he's justified in what he's doing, validated for his, for his bad behavior. So therefore, says the Chavetz Chaim, we have to be so careful. Even when you think that you could say Lashon Hara, you got to check yourself a thousand times over to make sure that you're entitled and halachically permitted. Otherwise, a person must learn to keep their mouths closed because they are not allowed to say Lashon Hara in any circumstances, even in the realm of Toelis, where you think that there's a benefit, or you think that you're justified, you better think twice, because it's usually going to come out according to the way the Chavetz Chaim describes all the details, where it's still going to be usher to say words of Lashon Hara. Have a wonderful day.